Hi everyone, I got the great question um, as to would I speak to the phytoestrogen um, supplements that doTERRA has. So I want to spend a few minutes digging into these and what they're good for, what their purpose is, and why you should be using them if you are a woman or in fact a man and if you are needing a little bit of help balancing your hormones because it is really important to maintain hormonal balance as we are young um, and as we age as well. So osteoporosis, heart disease, and certain types of cancers increase as women in particular transition through menopause into post-menopausal um, phases. So I wanna talk about this, but it's important to know that this isn't just for women, it's for balancing all hormones, uh, estrogen and progesterone, and actually sloughing, on, uh, sloughing off of what we call xenoestrogens. So xenoestrogens, well let's start there. So xenoestrogens are found in a variety of everyday products. They're in our skincare, our hair care, our cleaning products, and many of us don't really think twice about the makeup that we wear every day or the plastic containers that we're eating out of, right? And we know that organic food is supposed to be better for us, but sometimes we don't wanna pay for it. Um, it's maybe too expensive, it's out of the budget. Well, all of these chemicals that are now inundating our environment and in our lives, and I believe last I checked, there were over 80,000 in the last 20 years alone, so it's this huge number. And we don't have long-term research and data on the impact of these chemicals on our bodies and in our in our lives right so basically what that is doing to our cells to our hormones they are what we call endocrine disruptors they're disru they're disrupting our cells normal job and how it's supposed to balance and find homeostasis and help our hormones do the same so in young age that can be um Fertility is compromised when there's an overgrowth or like a saturation of xenoestrogen. Um, menopause can end up starting early in some women. A lot of thyroid disorders can happen because of too much xenoestrogen and even cancers can develop. So what we want to do, and again, I just want to state on here that I am never wanting to tell you that essential oils or these products can cure or treat or diagnose or eradicate cancer, even though honestly I wish they could. My own father died from cancer. But what we wanna do is um, up-level our bodies and our cells and keep us as healthy as we can so that if anything starts to encroach on us and our bodies, we can easily push it out, right? Because the truth is we are breathing in toxins every day. I can look out my window right now. And though I can't see the fumes that the cars are emitting or the trucks or the trains or the planes or the Roundup or, you know, the list goes on and on, I know that I'm breathing it in. So I need to do what I can to um, boost my immunity, which is why I use my essential oils, but boost my cellular health as well. So endocrine disruptors from xenoestrogens are a category of um of chemicals that alter the normal function of our hormones. So normally our endocrine system releases hormones that signal different tissues telling them what to do in our body. But when chemicals from outside of our body get into our bodies, they basically have the ability to mimic our natural hormones, which is the bad thing. That's the xenoestrogens and they mimic um, our estrogen and progesterone. And then they kind of end up throwing everything out of whack because our body is like, well, what's real, what's what's not, I don't know how to respond to something that is um, from outside my body, synthetic or unrecognizable, right? So I need to kind of, our body tends to kind of like freak out in many different ways based on many different things. Okay, sometimes they're genetic, sometimes it's a predisposition, some kind, sometimes it's a virus, right? A viral trigger can, can trigger something and a reaction in our bodies. Okay, I wanna be careful not to go too deep into this, but basically phytoestrogens are natural compounds that are found in plants and plant-based foods. So when they're eaten, they may affect a person in the same way as estrogen that's produced by the body. Now I wanna be clear that these are not estrogen, but they are adaptogenic and they basically help slough off and clean out unhealthy cells. 
So they're basically helping to any sort of xenoestrogens that have come into our body from outside um, forces. These are going to help clean them out and push them off so that our bodies, our hormones can find a better state of, of balance. Okay, you guys with me so far? It's, it's, it's a little heavy. It's a little deep. So phytoestrogens are adaptogenic. What that means, they work with our body and they aren't too much of one thing or too little another. They basically help find that state of balance. So they're adaptogenic. That's a really good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that they're, and they're derived naturally from plants. So we can eat them. Yes, we can. Phytoestrogens are in a lot of our food, vegetables, fruit, some grains, um, legumes. So obviously we want organic ones that aren't pummeled with all kinds of other chemicals. Um, because, um, so here's the thing, phytoestrogens imitate estrogen because their chemical structure is very similar to that of estrogen. So phytoestrogens, when we're getting a lot of them into our diet and into our bodies, they can actually help, um, relieve and minimize hot flashes. They can help, um, your body build up a stronger bone density. Um, so I wanna be careful with how I say that, but it can help keep our bones strong so that we go into, as we go into older ages, we don't have to worry about our bones getting too brittle and, um, and not able to sustain and support our bodies, our skeletal system. So um, they can also help combat menstrual issues. Um, and that can, these can be used for younger girls and um, preteens and teenagers as well. Um, they also can help minimize skin blemishes and, um, you know, those little things that come out on your face that you don't like, um, that nobody likes. They can actually help reduce those and support basically clearing and purifying the skin. They can, phytoestrogens, in our food and on our diet, I want to be really clear that I'm not saying these can, okay, don't want any confusion, but phytoestrogens in our food sources have been shown to actually fight breast cancer. And there are a lot of studies you can actually go to the National Institute of Health and Google that. So there are some fun and interesting stories that you can go up, um, go search up. So they can also promote heart health. Um, so we need a really solid and strong heart and cardiovascular and circulatory system and phytoestrogens when we're getting a lot of them into our diet can help support that as well. So basically in a nutshell, this little guy right here, supplement, um, phytoestrogen from doTERRA, we use it to clean out the toxic false estrogens off of the cells and out of the body so that they're not blocking and interfering with the day-to-day -day management of our cells, right? So they're going to um, allow our hormones to do the job that they really do, that they're meant for, that they're actually wanting to do without being overly too inundated by the phytoestrogen or the xenoestrogens that we are so exposed to every single day, every single day. So I have countless, I've read countless t testimonials on this product. And I don't know if I can actually go into it for compliance reasons because I want to be really careful about making claims about this product. So you may certainly look it up on your own or talk to your contact that brought you into doTERRA and shared oils with you in the first place if you're wanting more hormone um, information and support. But yeah, I would say that when you're pre or the suggested dosage for this is if you're pre to perimenopausal, so taking one to two a day, and actually Dr. Hill has said to take um, one to two a day starting when a woman reaches age 30. And I think most of my followers, or many of them, are at least 30, not all of them, thank you. <laughs> but um, also for postmenopausal, taking two a day to help with the bones and um, help with some of the other things that we're so inundated with and help really balancing um, the hormonal shifts that we endure and deal with in our lives. So you guys hope you've enjoyed this exploration exploration into phytoestrogen. Lots of big words here. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing research on it. And yeah, I hope you pulled some good stuff out of it and understand this product a little bit more.